What's going on, likers, subscribers, and quarantine vibers? It's your boy T Rev. So, today I'm going to be doing a review of the 2019 Iron 883. Pretty much lets you guys know what I personally think of this bike. There's a lot of, let's say, Harley hate to do with this bike and sporties in general. Uh, I honestly think that that is very, very stupid at the end of the day. Harley's a Harley. If you ride on two wheels, everybody should kind of support each other. But of course, that's not the way that it goes. Uh, there are a lot of people that say all sporties are girls' bikes. I like to say everybody's entitled to their own opinion. But you can say what you want to about my bike. That's not going to make it any less my bike. And this will always be my bike. I decide otherwise. I bought my first bike without even knowing how to ride. I paid four grand cash for a XG750. It was a 2016 and I got it, title and everything, and I had it for a couple of months and I decided uh, to actually trade that in. I traded it in for uh, this. They gave me 2800 cash value towards this that is one thing that i do love about harley is they have the trade-in program a lot of harleys also do have that freedom program if you do trade in your bike and your bike's paid off they will give you the cash value that you actually paid for your bike that way you know you're not losing out on any money uh, if you buy it from harley they're going to make sure that you get back what you actually paid for the bike which i think is completely amazing when I did trade in my bike, I literally walked out the same exact day with my Harley Iron 883. It is the 2019. So there's a lowered model and then there's the regular model. This model has a 5.5 inch clearance from the bottom, so it's still low. I'm not too sure how much lower the other model is. One thing I do like about the Sporties, man, and let me just say these. So a lot of people aren't too into the main controls, which you can see that I do. These come stock on every Iron 883. I love the mid controls. The reason that I love the mid controls is because it allows you to control and throw this bike around. I love it. You can weave through traffic. Uh, when you're in turns, you can definitely feel if you push, your, deck, your bike's definitely leaning a little bit more. It is an amazing bike. I love it. Uh, it is smaller than most Harleys, which is to be expected. It's a Sportster. A lot of people call it an entry level bike. I know people that have this bike that honestly ride this bike to this day. One big person that I know that uh, just got his, I believe it's a 2013 back recently, is Blockhead. Blockhead loves the bike. And honestly, that's where I got the idea of an i 883 from. I loved how customizable and how much you can make this bike literally like no other Iron 883. There are very few bikes that you can do so many things to turn them into uh, bobbers, cafe racers, all different kinds of bikes and make yours one of a kind. Very few people can say that they can make their bike not look like any other bike that is on the market. So it's amazing with this bike how many things that you can do from the number of exhausts you can get, the number of handlebars, grips, pegs, adding forward extensions, adding riser mounts in order to make your bars a little bit higher than you want them, crash guards, tunes, air filters, all different kind of stuff. Well, that's one for the day. Um, so, a big thing that I do like about the bike one, it's about 564 pounds, which is not bad for a Harley at all. So, like I said, you can really throw this bike around. You get a lot of maneuverability. It allows you to swerve very easily. And then I like how sleek the bike is. Now, mine doesn't look as sleek because I did add the crash bar because when I was teaching my lady how to ride, it was a brand new Harley and I did not want to take the chance that my brand new Harley hit the ground. Now, she never did drive my bike, but you always do want to make sure that you take that precaution, especially when you're talking about your baby, okay? Oh, by the way, guys, this is Daisy. She's my baby. I love that the front tire. 
tire is skinnier than the back tire, it definitely gives you a lot of that maneuverability when it comes to the actual bike, which is amazing. Uh, maneuverability for me is the big essential when it comes to bike, to a bike. The last thing you want to be worried about if something does happen, let's say this car was in my lane, the last thing I want to be worried about is, is my bike too big to make that move at that specific time? With the Sporty, I have no question about that. My bike will do what I need it to do, and it is very responsive. I love how responsive my bike is. How do I wish it would uh, go a little bit faster? If I did, I could honestly go with the 1200 upgrade conversion kit, which is another conversion you can actually add to, add to it. You can get all kind of different tune packages. You can add air filters, exhaust, two to ones that help you reduce that little bit of extra torque if you're looking for a quicker takeoff. There are so many things that you can add to this Iron 883 in order to literally make it like no other. A little bit down the road, I might be looking for a little bit more speed. And if I am looking for a little bit more speed, the great thing about the Iron 883 is they have a 1200 conversion kit. You can add that kit into your bike to convert it to a 1200. Now, a lot of you know, in the Sporties, we have the 48, right? The 48 is the 1200 version of a Sportster, which is a lot faster. Now, the only downside about the 48, and I'm in no means talking down on this bike at all, but this gas tank is already kind of small compared to other gas tanks and Harleys. It's a 3.3 gallon. With the 48, I want to say you lose almost like a gallon and a half, somewhere around there. It's got a really, really small tank. Harley says per gallon, you get about 51 miles. You can honestly say I probably get about 150 miles out of a tank of gas. Now for a 3.3 gallon tank, that's really not bad. I'm not a big fan of this, but I do like all the features that it does include in it. In the middle, you can see right now, I'm actually on uh, the, the setting that shows me what gear I'm in and then also the RPMs that the bike is at right now. Now you can actually switch that to go to different things. Like right there, you have the odometer, which is overall mileage on the bike. And then you have a trip A, and then you have a trip B. Right here, you have your time setting, and then back to the gears and RPMs. I do like that because honestly, I think we've all been to that point to where we're like, oh shit, what gear am I in? Well, if you change the setting on your bike, you can instantly know, which is always a blessing well. You don't have to worry about shifting up or shifting down, trying to red match. You know, with the click of the bike, which is also amazing. When I first got this bike as well, they do offer it in a variety of different colors, which is also amazing. I've always been a fan of matte, right? There are a lot of people that are into the gloss, the metallic looks. I was a big fan of matte. I wanted to go with a matte black or a darker matte gray to put on the bike because I honestly love darker colors. Now, when I actually went into the store, I saw this one and I was like, okay, you know, that could possibly be the one that I might be interested in. But I'm not even gonna lie, after I bought it, I was like, damn, what did I do? Like, I got something that I don't want. This bike has grown on me so much, so much. And Daisy, I am sorry for the doubt, baby. You are amazing and I love you. You're beautiful, you're beautiful. Now, one thing that I can say is, I know Harley advertises this on their website as the 2019, like this is the actual color that you're gonna see in the picture. But I can truly say, I have never seen another iron, at least out in San Antonio in all my time of riding, that is this color. I believe everybody pretty much goes with that dark gray or that black, which gives me another chance to make my bike stand out amongst everybody else's bike. The balance on this bike is amazing, man. The corners you can hit, the lean angles are amazing as well. Speed is amazing. All in a cruiser. Of course, it's a Harley, but all in a cruiser. 
So all those people talking down on the sporty Iron 883 don't know what they're talking about at the end of the day. If you think that the sporty is not considered a Harley or is a girl's bike, that's your opinion. At the end of the day, I'll stick to my Iron 883. One thing I am thinking about, you can put forward controls on them. So forward controls, if I did decide to go with them, would put my feet right about where the bottom of my crash bars are, which is right about here. But at the end of the day, if you do put the forward controls on and you put your feet right there, you do lose a little bit of the reactiveness that you get with the bike. I do like the reactiveness that you have with the mid controls, but then again, pretty much every set of pipes that I have been looking at are for forward controls. They all interfere with the controls that I actually have on my bike right now. So the mid controls will not fit and won't be compatible with the actual pipes that I want. Things that I have done, small upgrades that I think made a huge difference and has started to make my Iron 883 just that, my Iron 883. I went ahead and I grabbed the knurled Arlen S grips for my bike, which you can see right here. The stock Harley grips come, they're just smooth and they are, they're a little sticky. Honestly, I didn't want to wait till summer to feel how they actually feel. I can only imagine like when it's cold out and they're already kind of sticky. I can only imagine how it gets when it's actually hot. So not only did I do the grips, I actually did uh, the pegs as well on my bike. I went ahead and I got the Arlen S Neural Grips for those as well. So those match. And then I also got the Arlen S Shifter Peg for my bike as well. All right, guys. So a couple of the things that I have done to my bike. All right. So the first thing that I did uh, was I dropped my mirrors. I think everybody should consider dropping your mirrors especially if you have broad shoulders like i do uh, so when your mirrors come they come stock they come right about here now when you're trying to see behind you all you can get is a clear shot of your shoulder blades and it is really really hard to see one of the biggest things so when you're doing about 80 on the freeway you get beat by the wind okay so one thing I did invest in was a fairing for my bike. I do like how sleek my bike looked without the fairing, but when I'm on the road and now I go on a lot longer rides, it does help to have this fairing to save you from taking that beating from the wind. I also want to give you guys an idea of how fast this can get up to uh, freeway speed because I know a lot of people kind of say that it's definitely a lot slower than a regular Harley or one of the bigger Harleys which at the end of the day to each its own but I've had no problem at all getting my bike up to free weight speed in pretty much no time alright let's do it Thinking about 
about going with the Bassani radio sweepers. They are a bit pricey. So I am thinking now about going with the LAF uh, ground pounders, which are a little bit uh, on the cheaper side. They still produce a lot more sound, but now I have another, uh, I believe they're called the Bassani Road Rage three stage three or something like that i was watching somebody's channel what kind of exhaust do you have like they look pretty nice and it's a two-in-one so a big thing i heard about two-in-ones is they do add to the torque of the bike because all the exhaust is going out of one pipe instead of two which is pretty cool so now it's between that exhaust the laf ground pounders and also the bassani radio sweepers i want to get people that watch my videos more engaged so my question to you guys and drop a comment below let me know what you think uh, if you have seen the LAF ground pounders the Bassani radio sweepers and the road rage uh, two-in-one uh, I believe it's called a stage three if you've seen them what would you get which one do you think is the best bang for the buck let me know below and then also if you do have an idea and you have experience with uh, air cleaners and air filters and stuff what would you put to pair with those like i said guys i mean the sportster is a great bike the iron 883 no matter what year you get i honestly heard that all the years are really really dependable it really just depends like if you treat any guard good it's going to treat you good so if you take care of your bike your bike will take care of you as well I have nothing negative to say about this bike at all. If I do encounter anything throughout the time that I actually manage this channel, I will definitely let you guys know. But as of right now, I have nothing negative to say at all. And I will definitely keep you guys posted on upgrades. I'll be doing uh, all my own installs. And I will also be posting how-to videos on all those. I honestly want to learn the ins and outs of this bike so I will be doing all my own installs until there's something that that needs to be done that I might need someone's help on. I will continue to post all this content and keep you guys on the same page. Uh, but until the next review, you guys keep an eye out. If you did like the video, please feel free to like, share, subscribe. If there's anything that I did miss that you didn't hear, please, please let me know and I will try my best to answer your question. Again, this is T-Rev signing out on another one. You guys be safe out there.